Hey, I'm Brian here at Warp Tour 2010 in Scranton. Hang out with Steve and Colin from Sum 41. What's going on? How is it going? Not bad. How are you guys? We're great. We are really good. Enjoying uh, this year's Warp Tour? Yeah. In general? It's been going good. Um, we've been on it almost for three weeks now. So we've been having big crowds, and uh, it's been going good. Any uh, interesting Warp Tour stories you have to tell at all? You want to tell the drunken... The drunken... Uh, uh, the second day of the tour, our bus driver... Um, well, the first day of the tour, he was complaining that we were being kind of messy, which, you know, it was the first day, a local hometown show. Uh, or at least I live in L.A., so it was our singer, so we had friends and stuff. And so he was kind of pissed off that the bus was messy, according to him. Really messy, but I thought it was just kind of messy. So the next day, he's driving really erratically on the road, and I thought it was because he was trying to, like, get us back for the messiness. But it turns out he had downed an entire bottle of McKellen's scotch and uh, was completely wasted. And uh, we, Derek, our singer, like, threw him up against the, the, the window, and, and we, like, made him stop the bus, and we kicked him off and fired him right then. Wow, interesting story there. <laughs> Pretty, pretty intense. Yeah, I would fire a guy that'd be driving drunk like that too. That's oh, that's fired, not right. We fired him because he drank our scotch, not because he was a bad driver. <laughs> You're really trying to throw me off there, but good one, good one. <laughs> fire him because he drank the scotch. Um, so it's been a while since I've heard. Uh, well, a few years since I heard some new music from you guys. Any new music coming up soon? Well, uh, we're, we've just finished recording a new record. It's going to be out in the fall. Um, and uh, if you go to sum41.com in about a week, uh, we will be releasing a free download, which is like a 12-minute section of the record. So you can go there and hear some new stuff. Is it like a little sampler or just like one song? Uh, it's, it's like, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like a 12-minute song. It's oh, a really? long song, yeah. And we, and there's actually another song out right now called Scumfuck. Um, that's, you can go to our, our fan site called There's No Solution.com and you can download this song for free too. Nice. You basically have the quarter, a quarter of our record, new record for free right now. Uh, anything different you're trying with this new album? Um, you know, I think this record's just like, you know, everyone gets better. We. You know, we become better musicians, songwriters, all that stuff. And so this one, it's, you know, it's a darker record than the last one. It's heavy. It's got some pretty intense parts. Um, I think our, the fans of ours, they like, does it look infected and Chuck will really like it. But it's also got some light stuff, too. So it's, it sort of runs the gamut of everything we've been doing the past ten years. Yeah, cause it's, all, uh, it's always fun hearing, like, the fat lift kind of songs. And is there anything at all on that record that we can expect, or is it just completely different? Yeah. You're not going to hear anything like Fat Lip on the new album, um, but you're going to hear some stuff more in the vein of like a Still Waiting or like a No Reason type songs. Um, yeah, if you like Does It Look Infected and you like Chuck, you'll, you're most likely you're going to like this album. All the albums are great, so I mean, what, what can you lose from listening to 741, right? No problem. Awesome pop, awesome pop, uh, pop punk band. See, I'm, my brain is fried at this point. I've been talking too much today. Sorry. So where's some of your influences? Well, I guess, I mean, early on it was like the Warp Tour type bands, No Effects, Bad Religion, Pennywise, um, all that kind of stuff. But now, I mean, if you walked on our bus, you'd, you'd listen to, we'd listen to everything from like Bob Dylan to the Rolling Stones to David Bowie to Metallica to Iron Maiden. I mean, we're, we're kind of... Yeah, anyway, we're kind of uh, we're kind of all over the map now. We're, I mean, we're 30 years old now. We got an eclectic taste of music between the four of us. More diverse. You, you kind of graduate from like the normal punk rock influences to like anything. Yeah, we'll still listen to punk music too. I mean, my, one of my favorite bands is The Clash. Um, we'll still listen to Ramones. We were listening to Sex Pistols last night. Um, we were listening to No Effects' Decline the other day. So it's like we listen to a whole bunch of stuff. Nice, and, uh, alright, so I've seen you guys a couple times in the past, um, what can, what makes your shows, like, so interesting? I know Derek likes to, like, get a fan involved, like, he'll bring, like, someone on stage to, like, help play guitar, something I've seen in the past, or something like that. What, uh, goes into making the show so, I guess, awesome, or, like, makes him 
want to do all that stuff? Uh, I guess I guess crowd participation is a big thing with our band. Um, I don't know, we just try and make a show that we know people are going to enjoy. We put a lot of the singles in, on, especially on this tour, it's only we only play half an hour, so most of the set's all singles. Um, we always so. just want it to be a band that's that the band that we would want to go see live. I mean, we, a lot of times you see bands they just stand there and sort of stare at the tennis shoes. We wanted to like put on the show that we would like to see, and so we want to make it exciting and fun. And uh, yeah, obviously, you know, it turns out that way. And uh, any bands that are that you're watching on more this here? Um, there's a few bands. I, I went last night. I saw the Bouncing Souls play. Um, I've seen the Alkaline Trio play. Um, Anyways, he's coming on in about seven days, and we'll watch them. Don't they have a new singer right now? Because I know Jim left the band and all that. Yeah, there's a new guy. I think he played in a band called Ignite, and now he's the singer. So, be interesting to see what uh, the new singer has to bring to this Pennywise. Penny yeah, we we played with them in Belgium not too long ago, and it, it was pretty good. It was good. Any uh, upcoming tours after Warped Tour later this year? We are um, going to Europe after this, um, and then we come... Well, we have two weeks off after this. We're going to Japan before the tour ends for two days, and then uh, go watch show in Quebec City, and then we finish the Warped Tour, then we have a couple weeks off. We go to Europe for a month, then we have a couple weeks off, and then we go back to Europe for two months, five weeks, and then after that, uh, we'll probably break for the new year for Christmas and stuff, and then uh, in the new year, we'll start North America. I'm nice. definitely looking forward to seeing you guys outside of Warped Tour again, you know, doing a normal headline show or whatever the case may be. And uh, anything else you guys want to add in? Uh, well, we'll have a new record out soon. And like we said, we, you could go to uh, sum41.com and get those free downloads in a couple weeks. Well, uh, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm Brian hanging out with uh, Steve and Cohen from Sum41.